Howdy guys, it's Nefello8, your favorite wolf girl enthusiast, and welcome back to Brigand Emblem, or Bandit Emblem, an FE8 hack by Random Wizard. Today it's time for potentially the final chapter in the game, Chapter 6, Castle Lansford. Should be a very fun one. We left off last time um, running away from some mercenaries after looting and pillaging, as you do. We beat up some military, we beat up some mercenaries, we ran from some mercenaries, and now we're going to become mercenaries for the big bad army. I'm looking forward to seeing how it unfolds. You will receive no additional rations. If the injured man cannot feed himself, he will starve. Yes, General Ulrich. Who's next for the day? That would be me. I'm Targ. Hmm, what do you want? My boys and I want to work as some mercenaries with your army. How many men do you have, and what combat skill are they possessed of? 30-ish now. Not much formal training or whatever, but they're darn strong and good with axes. Hmm, most likely bandits then. I see. Nah, we ain't bandits. We're gonna be soldiers. You will each receive half a soldier's stipend per day in the army, and will be part of the front line against the assault against Lansford. Do you accept those terms? Yes, quite. Outfits yourselves quickly. I expect the battle will begin tomorrow. Very interesting, we took a bad deal. <laughs> but uh, Targ is known to be cowardly, so... How'd it go? I think he's interested, offered a good bit of coin, and didn't try to kill me once. Nice job, boss. Shall we move up and get ready for the battle? I think this will be our final big raid. Loot the whole castle in the chaos of war. I that's ambitious, that's for sure. I agree, come on, let's get everyone ready. The vault of blood axe is at your side, boss. I sure hope he is, he better be. Ooh, Sir Zilvan, I'm sorry. If only I could have known my actions would lead to this. Stop blaming yourself, yourself and blame the thugs out there. You're right, no matter what, we must protect Castle Lansford at all costs. If the Imperial Army were to breach it, all would be lost. I don't understand. How did they get through Goldbridge? Duke Sadius is a mighty warrior. Surely he would have held them back. Ask those questions another time. The Blood Rose mercenaries are here to fight, and we won't let them touch the castle. Oh boy. Defeat boss, and this is it. This is Zilvan. Silver Lance, Lightbrand, Hoplon Guard. Crazy. We've beaten him a few times now, but he's uh, standing in our way once more. Lance for troops, Erwin, Shiremi, Barbara, Alessia. A Lansford cleric, I suppose. Very fascinating. Here's Sadius, the Duke of Goldbridge, who betrayed Althulf to the Empire. Yeah, he most certainly did. He's very strong. I don't think we would be getting through him. But we do get to command Ulrich now, and that's pretty cool. We uh, actually got a very robust troop with us uh, this time. Let's see, Valthul and Targ, I would still assume, are game over conditions. I would also have to assume that he's somewhat of a game over condition, but uh, I don't... Oh. That's, uh, excuse me, I'm pretty sure I didn't mean to do that. I guess green units are actually not bad. That makes a little bit of sense, actually, because, uh, you know, green units are usually typically rescuable by blue units, which we are technically, in a way, blue. Uh, so that's, that's fascinating. Oh, okay, we get soldiers and bandits now. Very, very cool. Should be a fun map. It's defeat boss over the course of 12 turns, so... We gotta get down there and do some work. Wonder if destroying... Okay, so soldiers will probably not destroy the villages. In fact, I would have to assume that we won't be destroying the villages um, as of right now. Let's see, usually villages go back to Valthal. Alright, sorry about that quick cut there, let's see. So we have these Swift Souls that we could use. I'm pretty tempted to use them on Caligo, because he's more or less my best unit at this point. Um, I do hope that items go back to Targ. Oh, we can finally access the supply, that's pretty huge. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start off quite simply. Killer Lance there. I just want to see if things go back to Balthal. You, you're soldiers from the Empire, aren't you? Well, I'll have you know that I don't like people invading my land. Come on, just take this big shield and go leave us alone already. Dragon shield. Wow. That's pretty big. Uh, okay, so that's staying on him. That's most unfortunate, but I guess I can manage. We can uh, do a little bit of trade ferrying over this way. That'd be kind of nice. Get that dragon shield potentially over to, um, you know, this man, Caligo. He is, uh, basically my only, my only hope against, uh, Zilvan. So, that's, that's gonna have to be how I, how I handle that. Can you talk to your brother again? Didn't think so. Unfortunate. Wow, he straight bodies, sir. Um, okay, so if I'm going to tackle these guys in this way, hmm. I don't think there's any way I'm surviving the combination of them all, so... I'm probably just going to have to back off and uh, let something else occur in this way. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 
and then attack to like well where wherever to be honest so I'll place Necros like right here he'll he'll almost certainly get doubled but 20 ooh, 21 damage he'll live he will just live that's that's basically all that he'll do yeah uh, let's see so it is defeat boss I hope Sadius doesn't try to betray us I I honestly don't know um, I mean, I guess I can rescue him and bring him down. Like, that's a pretty honest strat, I would say. Uh, let's see, how heavy is he, actually? His con must be pretty high. Yeah, I guess if he can't be rescued by these guys... Uh, oh, that's a female one that would, um, actually do that, <laughs> funnily enough. Uh, let's, let's just get him down here, and we'll have him take care of whatever we need him to take care of. We'll just, honest... Like, I'm sure I'll probably in some way get punished for moving in so like haphazardly in this way but like honestly it's it's fine right like if i have all of my units in one place then what's gonna go wrong um i guess like the worst scenario would be a game over conditioned by this capture getting castled but or by this castle getting captured but i don't know of anything of the sort so currently i'm more than fine to just do what i'm doing as long as we don't lose that dragon shield i'm pretty pleased uh, let's see. Got another sword armor. wonder if I could bait out the sword armor solo, or bait out with the sword armor solo. Because, uh, I don't really have much in the way of defeating Barbara, but I do have some stuff, I guess. I don't know. Silver axe. I didn't take that into consideration. Do you have a silver sword? Armor slayer steel blade. Well, that does mean that you get weighed down by everything that you hold, so that's, um... Minus 5 and minus 3, right? Minus 2. Which makes things super doable. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, well, in that case, I have to back off. Um, I guess how I'll do that instead is rescue you. Uh, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then attack to here. So we'll, we'll drop with Targ. Take drop. Go ahead and visit this with Jess, that should work out. There's been a debate as old as time about just what a halberd actually is. Some of the kids say it's just some newfangled lance, but that's hogwash. Halberds are axes, and they've been that way since the day I was born. Come on, give this to an axe user and prove that those idiot children wrong. Oh, believe me, I will be sending that right along to an axe user. That's going to be super mega handy. Um, and the best way I can think to do that would be to... Uh, honestly, I can't do what I want to do here, so I guess I'll stand right here and just kind of vibe a little bit. That'll probably be how I do it. I'll send away this blue gem for now. The Axe Reaver will come in handy, surely. I wonder what's in these shops. I could actually, I, I could honestly just check. Nothing that I really need, to be honest. Like, I think I'm basically good on equipment now. I, I have a lot of gold. The game definitely sets you up with gold in a way that, you know, you can buy whatever you want pretty free of charge, but I, uh, didn't. <laughs> I haven't really needed to. We'll see how this goes. I don't really need to be too careful with my troops as of right now, just those, coincidentally. Because, uh, Erwin will turn me inside out without a moment's hesitation. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but that makes perfect sense. That does get Barbara out of the way from over there. We can keep baiting keep using her. Ooh, don't grip me. <laughs> uh, he's going to double me, but I am surviving on 1 HP, so that's more than fine. Actually, he might not. Thunder Tome may be too heavy for him. Nah, he is doubling me. Wow. Very handy dodge, actually. Um, now, the only issue is that I have no idea how I'm getting through these guys. <laughs> that's going to be quite problematic, but uh, we can manage. As long as we can get down there to Zilvin, we'll be more than fine. Let's see what this one wants to do. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Gonna crit. Ooh, not crits. Well, now I'm safe as long as it doesn't crit. Oh, wow. Doesn't even double me. Soldier's pretty good. That works for me. Let's see. Duke Sadius, where are you going? I am not interested in spectating at your inevitable victory myself. I have other business to attend to, you see. Forgive me, but I must take my leave for now. Honorless. Ah, uh, if only Empress uh, Susbron would allow me to end his life myself. Oh. That is, um, funny, actually. Wait, did I break the game? The answer to that question is yes. <laughs> what happens when I drop him? Oh. Well, honestly, you know what? We have 
the invisible guy here with us. So, oh, that's a broken game. That, yup. <laughs> Something tells me that was not, 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 I'm not supposed to do that. Oh well, I guess I just have a really, really funny unit right here. Alright, sorry about that cut there, but uh, I'm just kind of admiring the simple fact that I have whatever that's supposed to be. I, that's, that's just really funny. You know what? I'm gonna keep him. Oh, I actually can't. Oh, I can't visit the houses at all. Okay. It's not just his fault. It's, it's all of it. That's pretty funny. Anyway, we can't really rescue Ulrich because he's too heavy. I, let me just get rid of him, honestly. Or what I could do. Wait, I can give him to this guy? How heavy is he? Is he zero con now? I'm just gonna keep him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let something happen wherein the circumstances align for me to keep him. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, we're gonna get down here sooner rather than later. And uh, beat up on some mercenaries, some knights, and so on and so forth. Alrighty. Let's see, let's see. So we do need to get down there to Sylvan. Um, pretty quickly, actually, we are not in, an, in a great spot. Uh, okay, so... Targ with the Sword Reaver, probably doing good damage, but not getting the kill, of course. Um, does Valthal have more power, by chance? He doesn't, but he has more speed. Hmm. Very fascinating. That is going to present issues, no doubts. Wonder how he's doing. I do still have that, um, what's it called? The Shamshir. Which is more crit rate than the Killing Edge. In exchange for one might, of course. Well, I can just kill this guy. As long as I don't get crit, of course. Very good. I actually crit him. Makes sense. Good old Shremi. I have a feeling as though perhaps he was... I, well, there's no way he's recruitable, right? Because I... Wait, is would he have been? Because I think his death thing would have been there, right? I don't really know. Either way, I'm going to surround her uh, with a few units. Sort of hope that she doesn't body up on me. Because right now, the only one that she can kill is that guy. And that's completely okay with me. Leave, uh... Leave him right here, just in case he wants to do something funny. We'll do a little bit of damage with Necris, hopefully. We should be able to get through Erwin, and if we can, then we can we can simply win. We'll have to get down there and sort of probably bait out the, um... Well, honestly, I don't know what we would do with regard to Sil uh, Zilvan. He's not weighed down anymore, right? So he has 11 speed straight up. I'm minus 2 with Zanbato. So... That puts me at 14. If I can get one speed level up, I can double him with Zanbato still. Which would be kind of huge, to be honest. Um, as for these guys, I'm going to go ahead and let her heal. That makes sense to me. Whoosh. Could have used the simple heal staff, but I quite enjoy the men's staff. It's pretty funny. Um, pretty good chance that I dodge. If I don't, then it's whatever. It's a, it's a soldier. Very good. That's good damage. Now, I don't know if I want to let the wyverns simply die to Barbara. Um, that would be a little bit less than ideal, but I also could get rid of the Cav. Or, uh, not the Cav, Pegasus Celestia. That'd be pretty cool. Of course, there's the Dragon Shield, and I still need that on this side, so that one, I'm not going to allow that one to attack or anything. Um, yeah, this, this is fine. Whatever. The Wyvern is, uh, quite strong, it seems. It's a good thing that, that I finally have one of those. Joining the army is a good excuse to give us some pretty interesting units. Um, maybe if I trade over the dragon shield like this and then do a little bit of the panto trade and whatnot, then I can use you. Yeah, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Alessia's in heal mode, so she will, uh, if she has a vulnerary, she will not die here. Very big help. Does she have one? Yeah, she does. Okay. That's big. That's quite, quite good. Okay. If this hits, then that's cool. Probably won't, but, you know. Good old Barbara. Would have been fun to use Barbara. Um, speaking of all of these units, though, they are all explicitly part of the, um, Fire Emblem, like, you know, universe and community and whatnot. Uh, free to use assets. So, if you ever want to use any of these sprites for yourself, they're literally just free to use if you download from the repository. 
so you can use these guys for yourself. I was thinking last episode about how cool it would be to have Tari placed somewhere in a hack of my own, and uh, I can actually do that. That's completely within reach. You can quite simply just use the, the sprite work with credit. Um, let's see, do you die? I'm gonna put her here. I think I'm okay with that. That that lets me not comp compromise myself any. I mean, I guess I could honestly just do this too. That lets me compromise myself even less and I can throw hand axes even though they'll most assuredly not hit. Understandably. Uh, let's make sure that I can't get hit though. Yeah, good. Um, yeah. Bop. And then we'll come down here with you. Uh, I do want the mage to live though, so I'll be a little bit careful in that way. I mean, the get I guess the rest of these units can just kind of come down here and vibe. I don't really know what the uh, what the dude up there is planning on doing, but currently I'm not really with worry. There's no game over condition to stop me from like, you know, I don't have to protect something, so I can honestly just run down here and be. Oh, actually, she's in heal range. Okay, so that that does confirm it as being about 50% as the heal thing. She'll also get healed by the healer, which you know. As you do. Looks good to me. Good old bandits. You, uh, you didn't really do much, but I'm proud of you. Okay. Probably gonna have something happen this turn. Yep. Some green units, actually. Um, that's helpful. I do quite wonder if those guys are gonna stay with us. I'm not perfectly sure. Maybe they'll be like, ha, now I get to own the land that belongs to Talford, or Talford. Wait, what am I thinking of? That's a different game. That's Lonely Mirror, right? Talford? I'm pretty sure. See, that's why the Lonely Mirror is always on the mind. It's such a good game that I remember the locations, even when I'm not playing it. Um, okay, so we'll just go ahead and do this with you. Honestly, I'll trade over the Shamshir right away. Because it's going to be useful. Uh, I'll also give you that instead. Now, I would love a couple of crits here. Uh, one or two would be great. I'll try with this first, though. Okay. That's going to result in her death. Makes me very happy. That Well, that is to say, it'll result in her death if I can hit with somebody else. Which, you know, I should be able to manage. If not Necris, then somebody. Good ol' Erwin. She served them well. She did a great job. She was the, uh, the Ogma on their side. I'm going to give up here. I'm pulling back. Mm-hmm. As usual. Unfortunate. I guess that's that's how it's gonna be though. Okay, we'll we'll try to get this kill sooner rather than later. If we get hit, then so be it. This guy's a mercenary, like I said, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Um Barbara is a little bit of a threat with that silver axe, so I do want to keep her away from me. <laughs> Cause she's in heal mode right now. She's gonna keep healing and it's not going to be, you know, letting up in any any particular way. I would have to assume that the, the knights are not going to be moving, uh, and that's good for my purposes, so I can just do some uh, trade strats and whatnot. Where's that dragon shield? Yep. I want that on this big man down here. Um, Caligo is basically like literally hard carrying, and that's really funny to me. Uh, let's see, so you have a sleep staff. I could try as fast as I can to get rid of you. Uh, you don't really have anything to prevent me from doing that, so... I'll go for it. The faster I get rid of that, the better. Of course, that's quite unlucky, but do do be how it is. Uh, do I have another lance, another javelin to trade? I do have a bow, and that's kind of big. Can I shoot these guys? Didn't think so. That's probably for the best. Uh, okay, so we'll uh, yeah, we'll just keep vibing. Head on down here and do our due diligence or whatever. Uh, right, I do want to keep you safe in the meantime, so. There we go. And there we go. Did that vulnerary since we have a healer on hand. Should be no big deal. Don't want Jess to be in range of anything, because she could die. Um, Caligo will live, even through a javelin, so that's good. Let's see. I wonder if I can reach her soon. You're still in heal mode, so I've, I'm honestly just safe to continue doing what I'm doing here. Go ahead and do it like this. Or even better, potentially? Probably, to be honest. I'm kind of down with that. The faster I get through Alessia, really the less I have to worry about in general. Um, yep, there we go. 
should work out. We'll see what happens with this guy. His stats are still going to be lowered because he's weighed down. I wonder if simply putting him into combat is going to result in his death, because that'd be pretty funny. Um, was there another wyvern somewhere? Or did he die? Or am I mistaken? I, I don't know. Guess we'll see. Uh, let's see. Yep, looks good to me. We'll just stay out of everything's range with Valthal and uh, Targ, because, you know, game over condition moment. Let's see. Oh, that's less than good. Hopefully Barbara doesn't body up on me too much here. Oh, okay. That's honestly good for me. Yeah, especially with the dodge there. Yep, that's really good. Thank you, soldier. Thank you very much. Uh, where did you come from? I... Whatever, that's fine. I'm, I'm making great progress, so I'm not worried about it. Go ahead and heal up Mr. Caligo. Whoosh, could have used a men's staff, but once again, doesn't really matter. Um, I guess we'll just kill him with you, right? Because, you know, Steel Lance, heavy, kick W. Get that big W. Uh, right, so, I mean, I guess we just move in on Zylvan now, and everything should work out. That is a fantastic level up, by the way. Really, really appreciate that one. All right, let's see. I think one of these guys has a sword. Yeah, so we can we can continue to bop Barbara in the meantime. Uh, she actually one-shots these guys. That's pretty funny. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful in that regard. wonder if I still have that, um, that heavy spear on hand. I'm pretty sure I do, and I can rescue or trade chain that over through the various means that I have. Yeah, we'll just trade that along. That's a very good decision in my mind. The faster we can get rid of this guy, the better, honestly, because uh, he's basically the only thing left in our way at this point. wonder what would be better between you and you. The wyverns are actually just better. That's pretty funny. That's typical. Um, yeah, this guy's going to mega die, so... Oh, I didn't trade that over, did I? Oh, well. Oh, it's on you, right. That makes a lot more sense. So, Zylvan is going to equip the sword now which is great for my purposes. That helps me in the future. Trade over this heavy spear, and... It's doable. It most certainly is. Very good. That heavy spear from a long time ago came in super handy right there. Probably the first time it came in handy, actually. I don't think we've used it before. Not for its, not for its intended purpose, anyway. Go ahead and try to kill the healer. Very good. That, um, that could be a little bit of a problem for dealing with, um... Her right now, but otherwise I think that's fine. Yeah, as long as we can kill Alessia as well, we're more than good. Barbara's pretty much trapped in here, and she can't heal, I think, more than once, because she has one use of Vulnerary left, right? Which she will continue to do until she's at full health, but uh, for now, that's fine. Go ahead and try something with uh, anybody who can reasonably get down here, I suppose. I could poison her. I don't see why not, really. If she kills me, then that's fine. That's, uh, you know, damage every turn, and then, of course, if that works, then that's da even more damage whenever I go ahead and get ready to kill her. I don't know. Uh, this is fine. Go ahead. Bop. 51 hits. Sisters, I'm sure you'd be saddened if I fell here. For your sake, I fly away once again. She's flown away a lot. She's, um, not made it through many maps, but I guess that's okay. Got an axe one here. Maybe that's... Mm, I was going to say, maybe he'd be better for attacking than Targ, but I don't think so. I guess the big upside with him over Targ is that I, I don't care if he dies, whereas I do care if Targ dies, you know? A little bit unfortunate, but I guess it's okay. There are upsides and downsides to generics. There always will be. Um, is this going to break my game if I attack with you? I, I just want to see what happens if you die, to be honest. Because, I mean... It should drop the guy, right? But then he would... He would just be there. Yeah. So... Get... Bodied, I guess. That... Wait, wasn't there a wyvern here? Did that just spawn him up a space? Uh... Is that what that did? Yeah, it, it literally just... Spawned him up a space. That is hilarious. That... That's not... How that's... I really enjoy things like that. One thing that I used to do in FE7 is that I used to hate the chapter Genesis. I say used to, but I still hate that chapter. It's still probably my least favorite chapter in, in Vanilla Fire Emblem. And um, what I what I would do with that map is uh, I would 
do the enemy control glitch, drop all of the siege tomes that are on the enemies, and then go for um, go for Kishina and rescue him with one of the like quote unquote good guys. Wait, the, the quote unquote good guys. That's this game. Uh, I would rescue him with one of the enemies, and then when you kill him, he drops as a standard mage. It's really funny. I am the last hope of Lansford. I am Knight Commander Zilpin. Imperial warriors, I may uh, have lost my squires and my prince, but I will not lose my strength. Not against the likes of you. This is this is a hype theme for Zilpin. I honestly have had a great time, like, coming to meet Zilpin throughout this game. He's honestly just been a fantastic, like, antagonist to work against. He's, he's really cool. Um, he's not, like, anything super outstanding in terms of a Jagan character, but as a villain, he's really fun to interact with. Um, like, you know, for obvious reason, he's very much not on our side, but it, it would be very much fun to explore, you know, the possibility of him being on our side in the future, perhaps, maybe in a separate life. Okay, we'll go ahead and kill Barbara. She is honestly the last line of defense here. She is literally the only reason that Sir Zilvin still remains on his throne. Good ol', good ol' characters that we have. Uh, let's see, do we have a lot of these guys? We could honestly just start sacking them, because, you know, Barbara is going to one-shot, but, like, whatever, it's fine. Oh, she didn't one-shot that one. Uh, okay, good ol', good ol' Necris has got this. Ah, Barbara was a lot of fun. I say that every time that I see her, but she was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the female, like, fighter aesthetic. Dying with so much left to do, that would be unforgivable. I need to retreat, but I'll rejoin the battle another day. Something tells me that you won't be doing that. Something tells me that this may be the final chapter. Uh, and now, if we can get... Actually, let's, let's, let's do one of these instead. I, I, I want the speed level up. Like, I, I, I would enjoy that a lot, actually. Uh, let's see if we can manage that. Bop. If we can get a speed level up, then we'll start doubling, um, Zilvin. There aren't- I, I guess we couldn't after all, so honestly, let's just go completely back and do the thing as it was intended, or as we did it in the first place. Uh, let's see, I think we killed one of these guys. Bop, and then, yeah, and then we'll kill with him. That way, there's no cheating. <laughs> um, yep, so I think, more or less, we just put, Z uh, him in range of Zilvin. And then we heal him to full HP so that he doesn't get bodied. Uh, we'll do it like this. That way, there are two sitting duck type characters there. Bop. Good old Zilvin. He's going to heal up every turn, but that's fine. Uh, and we'll heal. We actually don't have to heal him now, which is great. And we'll keep on bringing Ulrich down. I wonder if Ulrich has a conversation with uh, Zilvin. I guess we'll see about that maybe. If we get down there. I also wonder if Zilvin has a vulnerary, because he will enter heal mode at a certain threshold. Which would be less than ideal for my purposes. Okay, that's that's pretty good. These guys are, are straight fodder for me. I'm pretty pleased by that. Yep, we'll just keep on hitting him with Caligo. It's funny that Caligo could have been recruited by Zilvin, and uh, this entire circumstance could have been avoided. Okay, we'll go right there, and uh, we'll be doing a little bit of healing and rescue dropping with Aveline. Looks good to me. Drop. I wonder if we have the uh, Halberd on hand so that potentially Balthal or Targ could get the, the kill. Like, it's not going to happen with uh, Lightburn equipped, but if he swapped over to Lance for whatever reason. I do wonder if Lance would kill uh, Caligo. That'd be 15 plus, so that'd be 29. Uh, he barely lives. That's pretty cool, though. I guess that's one damage. Uh, you know, I wonder how much damage we could be doing. With all of these javelins that I have, no damage, understandable. I mean, if I can if I can just chip away at him, I'll more than happily... Wow, what a unit. Sheesh. This one is not going to be so lucky, I would say. Can we deal damage to him with the archer? I, I know we have a longbow around here somewhere, right? Didn't we? Or was that the last map? I believe it was. Well, I guess we'll rescue this guy, drop him, and then uh, try to shoot with the steel bow archer. Hopefully deal some... Something tells me this is not going to quite work, but it's not my soldiers, so who cares? You know, what's what's the the big loss? Uh, there we go. I guess we'll just end turn and see what happens. We might be able to kill him on the next turn with some luck. Very good, he's gonna kill these guys. That light brand's gonna break eventually. Okay, and we'll see how much damage this does. Uh, he doesn't die, so... Uh, I can't rescue him either, though, so I'm gonna have- oh wait, can I? Oh. Huh, okay. 
Might as well. Worth a shot. Okay, he doesn't have a conversation. Unfortunate. Oh well. That should be the death of Zilvin, though, I, I would believe. Uh, as long as we can do a little bit of damage with somebody other than Caligo. Might be a little bit hard to do so, but if these guys could do one damage each... Yeah, I didn't think so. Wow. I actually dodged one. Um... I mean, I guess I could try to get the crit. Oh, right, he has a, a hop on guard equipped. Uh, right, I could equip the dragon shield, but, like, that doesn't do anything for me now, so... I guess it's, uh, how it's gonna be. Is there any way that I can deal enough damage? I would really, really be happy if I could. Come on, I just need one damage now. Surely I can manage one point of damage from somewhere. Uh, do you guys have... No. I need seven strength to, uh, hit him once. I do want to keep that heavy spear, because it's, it's been with us this whole time. Come on. Come on, you got this. 26 what are the odds honestly it's it's got to be super low uh, this one's got a javelin but I don't know if you have enough strength nope um does a bandit have enough strength probably not but maybe you got this ah unlucky I'm gonna end up breaking his uh, light brand and then I'm gonna really regret my actions we'll just go for this and uh, that should work out I do hate to speed through it so much now we double him do hate to speed through it so much, but we basically know how this is going to go. Then we'll uh, rescue and drop Aveline. This was a very fun final map. It, it really does set the feeling of, like, you know, what it would be like from the player's side to actually face down all of this stuff if the enemies work together and stuff. Because typically they'll stay in their positions and, you know, they'll move when, they, when they're supposed to move, but I have no such um, reservations. I simply exist in spite of everything. I really, really wonder if Valthal would be able to get the kill. There's no way, right? It's not possible. Because it's... I would have to use the Sword Reaver, first of all. And that would be an additional 20 hits over what it's got, so 85. Minus his 40, 49 avoid, so... Well, actually, hold on. What's my hit rate as it is? This is 60, so I literally have 7 hit as of right now. Par partially from my skill. There's there's literally no way. It's going to have to be Caligo. You know what? Caligo's done so much work, I'm not even mad about it. Oh, well, it's a good thing he doubles now. <laughs> it's a really good thing he doubles now. So, so I have faltered. So Lansford has faltered. Is this truly how our duchy shall fall? It appears that it is how it will fall. You put up a great fight, Zilvin. All throughout the maps, you did great work. An absolute unit of a soldier. Even though Caligo never leveled strength, I don't think a single time. Are we going to get executed for this? I bet we are. Castle Lansford is ours. Troops are moving in to finish off Duke Althoff. How do we do, General? An admirable performance. That group of yours is certainly skilled. Thanks, boss. Need me to kill anything else? Stay there, Valthal Bloodaxe. Do not move a finger. Huh? I have received reports of a large bounty on the head of one outlaw by that name. A notorious murderer, killer of children, slaughterer of in innocents. Unpardonable. Ooh. The only sentence for that out outlaw is death. Heck. <laughs> ah. Truly a shame. That's crazy. That's really how it's gonna end? Ah. Unlucky. Vault of Blood Axe. Ah. Brats, all of you, nothing but idiot kids. I don't know if that's the truth. <laughs> Balthal. Balthal was slain by General Ulrich and was swiftly forgotten amidst the chaos of the growing war. Targ abandoned banditry and fled Lansford, becoming a paranoid hermit in a faraway land. Caligo. Cultist of the Dragon Emperor assassinated Caligo. To his death, his loyalty to Aveline never faltered. Aveline was recaptured by cultists of the Dragon Emperor, who carried out the ritual and returned their Dark Guard to the world. Wow. Jess was captured by the Imperial armies and imprisoned for her crimes of robbery and murder. As the Dragon Emperor conquered the world, Necris became a powerful religious leader in his service. Ulrich, the Imperial armies conquered Lansford, but Ulrich's attention quickly turned to fighting the Dark God engulfing the world. Wow. Ah, uh, hello there, it's you. Thank you for playing through my hack. Thank you very much, Random Wizard. This was a fantastic experience. I had so much fun. I'm really, really glad that I got to have this experience. 
I'm Random Wizard, creator of various hacking works of assorted quality. <laughs> I tried experimenting with a lot of weird concepts here, and I hope they turned out okay. They most certainly did. I know this really isn't what most people expect Fire Emblem to be like, but maybe getting to play as the generics was fun for a change. It really was. I had a great time. By the way, no, you didn't get a bad ending. There's no way to avoid that. Okay, good. Although I suppose this whole hack was a bad ending since Adonis died. I agree. If you have suggestions or critique, let me know on Discord or FEU. Till next time, player, good luck with your Fire Emblem adventures. That was fantastic. I really love that little addendum at the end there, too. Thank you very much, Random Wizard. This was a fantastic experience. Um, really, I don't really have any complaints in terms of gameplay. Like, obviously the last chapter was a little bit of a breeze, but it was... it. It set up the feeling of impending doom for the good guys, and I think that was very much intentional. I had a great time with this hack all throughout. You know, it's a it's a shorter hack, and that's perfectly fine. That's all you need sometimes. You know, you have your fun in short bursts. You don't have to have a full campaign for that. Getting to play as the generics is always fun. You know, I played Iron Emblem before here on my channel as a stream series, and that was a lot of fun too. There's something about the generics, you know. Having units that you can actually just throw off to the side and use for more tactical purposes like that is a fantastic feel. Because, you know, in typical Fire Emblem, you, you just have your units and stuff. They, if they die, then you feel bad about it because they all have their own skills and assets and they all have their own character. But uh, in this one, you can literally just throw people to the side, and that's a great feeling. It really does add to the tactical nature of Fire Emblem. Um, having units that you can freely discard, it's, it's part of it, you know? That's part of how it is in these war-type scenarios. Um, at least in video games. I would hope that's never the case in real life because, you know, people have their own stories in real life, too. Um, but you know, in games like this, Faceless Nameless Soldiers, that's a fantastic way of playing. Um, like I said earlier on, I, oh, I guess we'll go like right here, maybe have one last look at our units towards the end. Uh, maybe I'll copy data and put one right here, and that way we can see what happens when we resume. Right, okay. Um, so I'll just, I'll just, I'll copy data one more time, and then we'll have a look over our units and stuff. I had a fantastic time exploring this little cast of characters and stuff. Valtho Bloodaxe and uh, cer certainly Targ. Targ is my favorite one, by the way. I don't think I spoke on him too much, but Targ is definitely my favorite one. Uh, since he's like a free-to-use asset, I'm probably going to end up using him. His portrait, at least, in a, in a hack of my own at some point. He'll probably just be a random generic boss or something, but I'll, I'll probably write a little reference or some such back to this hack because, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. Um, I like that he has the light affinity, too. That, that implies a lot. Uh, what's, what's Balthal's? Man, if these guys could support, that would have been a full attack, full crit support build. That would have been a lot of fun to mess around with. If I did see, like, an expansion upon this game in the future, I probably would want to see supports written out. Of course, that's a huge endeavor that takes a lot of coding and a lot of, like, movement of resources and whatnot. It's, it's definitely a pain, but it's, um, I don't know. It's very fun. I like supports. They're actually my favorite mechanic in GBA Fire Emblem. Oh, crazy that, that we're at the end of it, though. That was a short one, but a very fun one nonetheless. Well, if you have another short hack that you'd like to see me play, make sure to leave it in the comments below. If you have any comments that you'd like to add to, uh, you know, give to Random Wizard, make sure to leave them in the comments or on the FEU page. If you want to play the game for yourself, of course, you know, maybe see if you can rescue all of the generic units and make them all survive, which probably literally impossible, but if you can, I'm sure you'll get accolades from, like, everybody. Um, but I guess that's about it, you know? Make sure to like the video so that more people see the hack. Helps with the channel and stuff. Make sure to share the video also so more people see the hack. Um, if you feel like donating via Kofi, I'd very much appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes of mine here on this channel, I'd very much appreciate that too. As of recording right now, we're on the way to 500 subscribers. That opens up the community tab for me. I'd be very happy to have that. My goal is 500 by the end of the year, and as of this recording, we're 23 away. It might be more, it might be less by the time, uh, you know, the episode goes out and stuff, but very much appreciate it, especially if you made it to the end of this episode. You're surely having a good time. That's about all I have to say, though. This has been Brigand Emblem, an FE8 hack by Random Wizard, or Bandit Emblem, as I should be calling it. Um, and I guess until next time, I will see you later. Bye.